it's always seen a lot of people in the tattoo community kind of get them. So I'm starting a collection, kind of. Melissa Dimock is on the receiving end of a needle for the fourth time. This one's for a small mushroom. It's not that bad. She's entering a group with tats from the unlucky Friday the 13th. At Body Art Tattoo Studio on Friday, they offered small pictures for 50 bucks. A rocket, a heart with a saw going through it, and a lot more. Tattoo shops often have specials on the dark holiday, always including the number. I like all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah, all that freaky stuff. <laughs> She's hoping to be like hardcore Friday the 13th fan, artist Tony Munsell. I like it because that's how I got my first tattoo. He just wanted a cheap one to see if he'd like it, and now he's got five of those collector's items. I've got one that has like Alf holding up like a one and a three with his hands. Um, I've got a little robot. And he's since made the art form his life. Here he's working on a tribute to this man's mom, but Munsell was sure to give someone a small stamp this Friday. I'm big on tattoos that make people laugh. Um, so if it'll put a smile on someone, it's like I might get a tattooed. It put a smile on Dimock's face, even if the needle hurt. How does the, uh... In Burlington, Tom Garris, NBC5 News.